Hey everybody, how's it going? Boris back with you. And today I want to talk about the latest news that's come out. Um, I did talk about this briefly last week. So Island Diary came out yesterday, October 2nd, 2017. They gave us quite a bit of information, including uh, what I suspected when I read that wording in uh, Bishar's tweet the other day. This game is going full release on October 6th, and that is when the new patch is going to go out. It's no longer going to be an early access game preview mode. It's going to be a full-on release, so I assume they're going to maybe have a new trailer that comes out, maybe try and introduce this to some new players that haven't uh, had a chance to check it out. You can see right now, currently we have 290 players online, 297, um, as I just said that. Quite a big drop compared to what we used to get uh, when we first started back in June of this year. We were getting upwards of uh, 3,000 players every night, every single night for about a month. Then it slowly started to decrease. Since this last patch came out and we introduced some of the uh, pretty game-breaking bugs, and since this lack of content has, has begun, um, it does seem to have killed some of the player base. But hopefully with this new patch, we get some players back. They give it another try. They see that new, new patches come out. There are some new things coming out with the patch as well as just um, some bug fixes and things like that. Uh, but we'll get into more detail. I'm going to jump in a match just so we can have something to look at while we're talking. But I definitely want to go through this uh, Island Diary step by step just to tell you guys, if you haven't checked it out yet, what you can expect on October 6th and what we can look forward to hopefully as the game moves on. Uh, the first thing, and I'm not going to go over every single one because I'm going to have a link to the patch notes below, but the first thing I want to talk about is the golden weapon. So there's a few different golden weapons. Bleeding Blade, Triflector, Nutcracker, Axe Extinguisher, Vampire Bat, Doppelganger, Infinity Pole, and Vami Hawk. Now, so that's eight total. There's going to be four tier four weapons, it seems, and four tier three. Um, you have to... <laughs> I'm going to make this uh, knife here, but you'll have to excuse me if I play terribly. I have only played a few matches in the last week, a week and a half, and I did stream one night, so that gave me um, a little bit of practice, but I haven't been playing this game, honestly, just because I've, I've kind of decided to move on a little bit and try some other things while I've been waiting for this patch, because it's just been frustrating that nothing has come out in so long, but it does look like we're getting a patch that's going to fix some of the bugs and glitches. I mean, they're going to have a ton of different cosmetics and um, stuff like that, but honestly, I don't even care about that. I just If they just gave us a patch with the bugs fixed and, um, you know, stuff like that, then I would be perfectly fine with that. I don't need the cosmetics. Um, I don't need a new event. I don't need these new golden weapons. I mean, it's all fine and great uh, if we do get that, and we are going to get that, but... If they would have just given us a patch with uh, just the bugs fixed, I would have been perfectly fine with that. Somebody okay. killed some chump with an axe. Flocka Waka. Now, anybody in this game right now uh, that's still playing is probably pretty decent just because they're probably, uh, you know, still playing the game. They probably just didn't discover it and they're one of 270 something people playing. Uh, they probably played it for a while, so. I might get destroyed in these games, and that's fine. If I do, it's it's perfectly fine. I'm gonna just try and talk while I'm playing, and I don't even, if I don't win, it's not that big of a deal. He's got brass knuckles. Okay. I block that. Oh wow, look at that. Was incinerated in a <laughs> oh, yeah. Somebody else just got hacked into pieces with a razor sharp blade. Are available for delivery. A package has been delivered to the basketball court. Yeah, we can't take too many big hits here. Ah. Ah, that's not gonna work. Nah, no, we're pretty much dead. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. We come back and we get the kill. Oh, shit. Okay. Is there another guy? Oh, shit, there is. Okay, we gotta run. We're almost dead. Oh, what the hell? Get away from me, man. Man, we got vultured hard. We came back in that fight. I'm pretty impressed with me coming back in that, considering I haven't played. <laughs> but we got vultured pretty hard by HR Money Trees. Let's see. Yeah. 106 damage, 2 kills. That's, that's a pretty good vulture for you. And anyway, okay, so let's get back into these patch notes. So like I said, the golden weapons, they're going to come in some kind of airdrop or some kind of event. Um, not a new event, it doesn't sound like. It's just going to be one of the existing events. A late mat or mid-match event that's going to contain them. Uh, so let's see. The golden weapons, like I said, they're going to come in match events. So mid-match, there's going to be four tier three golden weapons that you can get. Uh, late match, there's going to be four uh, tier four golden weapons that you can get. And they're going to come in events such as like Loot Pinata or Loot Express, and it's not guaranteed that they're going to always come in in those events going forward. It's just you're, you're just going to have a chance to get these. Now, they all have very special characteristics. We've heard about some before, like the Bleeding Blade, which I believe is the Katana. It's a sword that will cut you and you'll basically bleed until you bandage. Even healing at a machine, I don't think will fix it. You'll need to actually craft a bandage, and that will then stop the bleeding from happening. Um, here's another one, Vampire Bat, which, it's a baseball bat, yeah, you'll recover two health points every time you strike an opponent, so you're basically leeching health from them every time you hit them, so that's pretty interesting, and there's another one, Vami Hawk, which is a tomahawk that inflicts sickness as the punji sticks do, so if you step on punji sticks, you all know that you would, uh, end up throwing up afterwards, well, the, this tomahawk is going to do the same thing. So it's going to make you vomit every time that you're hit. So that's pretty interesting. That's going to be these weapons are going to be very overpowered if you're able to get them, and not knowing when they're actually going to come because it's not a specific event itself. That's what's going to make it really interesting. So if you see somebody running around with a golden weapon, unless it's the golden crowbar, uh, be very wary of that person uh, going forward because they have a very powerful weapon. Uh, another couple announcements that they made. Um, so they mentioned it before, but proximity chat on the Xbox. So when enemy players are near you and you have your mic on, you should be able to hear them and talk to them. Uh, so if you want to taunt them after you kill them or call them some names after they've medkit glitched you, something like that, uh, you can go for that now, it seems, and we'll be able to hear each other. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I guess sometimes it can be a good thing, but uh, it's definitely going to be something to wear. Um, you're going to have some people yelling in your ear, calling you names when you, when you beat them in a fair fight or saying that you cheated, things like that, just because people get that way, uh, no matter what you do. Um, and they're going to support voice chat for teams. So this is something that if you have a random partner, you'll now be able to talk to them without getting in an Xbox live party. Uh, so that's definitely a good thing. Like I said, there's going to be quite a few cosmetic upgrades. There's going to be a lot of uh, new items to pick from. No, I don't really care about this. Honestly, I just want the bug fixes. I could care less about any of this other stuff. But I do have 25 coal crates ready, and uh, they're ready to open. Uh, so we'll see if we can actually get anything good out of those um, when this patch does release. Let's go ahead and compete in this match a little bit, see if we can get something better. Um, but, but yeah... I'm excited for the update. I I want to see what they're gonna what they're gonna bring. I just the first thing that I'm gonna test is I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna take a bunch of weapons and start throwing them at the floor and see if they go through. I'm gonna try and medkit glitch and see if it still works. Just to just to see if that's something that I still have to contend with. You guys know that I would never do that um, in an actual fight. Just from you know what I've said in the past, but. I'm going to try it, I'm going to have like uh, a co-op game, I'll have my partner hit me while I'm uh, using the medkit or using a bandage and I'll try and see if that works just to test it out and that way we'll see if that's something that they silently fix because they did not uh, mention that before um, when they were talking about this patch in the, in the past, 
They didn't mention that bug is being fixed, so I'll be interested to see if that's something that silently gets fixed. I'm assuming not, uh, but we will see. Another thing that will be great to see is if they actually fix Europe um, and people from the Europe region can actually play on their home uh, server instead of having so much lag in North America like they do now. This guy. This guy thought he could taunt me and then I was gonna taunt him back, but he decided to uh get a cheeky stab in. Someone is dead. Cause of death. Alright, we got this guy. Alright. And you get all this taunt you too again, cause uh he didn't let me taunt fully the first time, so that's what you get. <laughs> and we still got it, guys. We still got it. I'm not as bad as I thought I was, I guess, huh? Yeah, but like I said, the people still playing this game right now either love the game or they've just discovered it and they wonder why there's no players online. Um, that guy definitely seemed like he had played before. Um, he's not new or anything like that, so I don't... I feel pretty good getting that kill, because... Been a long time for me and I haven't really been playing that well when I actually did play so the fact that I'm getting some of these kills makes me feel pretty good because I was doing pretty poor in the stream the other night and uh, just overall <laughs> yeah but what do you I want to know what you guys think do you think that this patch is going to you know inject some life in the game I know I asked this in the in the last quick update but I wanted to see you know do you guys still think that now that you know what all is coming out and when, so we know now it's October 6th, which is this Friday, I believe, and, um, you know, it's going to go full release. So they have to know for themselves that this thing is ready to go. It's ready for the masses. It's, it has all these bugs fixed. It doesn't have any groundbreaking issues. Um, they have to know that going forward with a full release. So... I'm pretty confident that it's going to fix the bugs. I just really, really, really hope that it doesn't introduce any more in the process because we've had a problem with that um, in the past where... What do I have on? Brute oh, Ranger, okay. Where we fix some things, but then we end up breaking others uh, when we have these new patches. And it seems like every single time something like that happens. So it'll be really interesting to test out, really interesting to see what all has actually been fixed, what all is still broken, if, if anything, um, and if they're actually going to be successful with this full release. I honestly hope they are. Um, and I'm not just saying that because I make content for the game, just because I, I do like this game quite a bit, and I've played it a very long time, not nearly as long as some others, but um, yeah, I have played it quite a bit for me. The Blood Moon is upon you. The Blood Moon reveals all. All the players in the match. You crave blood just as much as your enemies. Does that make you a vampire? Find out in the glow of the Blood Moon. Blood Moon. Good luck. Yeah, let's check up here. I don't see anybody around, but I want to check. Even if there was a green crate here, it's probably gone. No? Oh, wow. Okay. That's why we always check. Who knows? What do we get? Nothing. <laughs> I'll just leave that right there. Okay, it looks like there's a few people over here. One over there. A few over there. Oh. This guy back here. So let's go after him. <clears throat> he's probably the closest. I'm wondering if he's stuck in his pod. Or what? If he's just AFK, I don't know. I assume he's stuck in his pod. Um, 
Usually he would have moved by now, I think. And I'm pretty sure that's the pod location for, um, you know, one of the one of the spawn areas right there. So we'll take the free kill and free funk if we can get it. He's either gonna die by suicide or he's gonna die by us. So might as well be us, right? Anyone else around? No. Yeah, so like I said, I have 25, I think 25 uh, coal crates to try out, so I want to see if we can get any of these new items, even though I don't really care about them that much. I just want to see if I can get them uh, with these coal crates, because I've heard a rumor that the loot pool is predetermined no matter where you, or no matter when you open the coal crate that you've unlocked, it's already been determined what you're going to get. So in my case, all 25 of mine would not have anything from the new patch. Uh, none of the new cosmetics should arrive there, if that theory is true. Uh, so I want to test that out and see for myself. If not, then I should get something from the new cosmetic pool at least, because I would think 25 chances at it uh, with four items apiece would give me a pretty good opportunity to find something. Right, we're just going to sell something so that we can get um, our airdrop. I think I have random gun on, which I was just messing around with on stream. Um, don't usually run this, but I was trying to have a little fun uh, using the guns. I don't normally do this. I usually have like the katana or the tier 3 blade or something like that, but yeah, it's good to change it up a little bit just to have some fun. Uh, when you're not really trying to be all that serious in the game. I do wonder too if if this new patch means new leaderboards and if they're going to change anything about them because right now in my opinion the leaderboards are pretty broken. You basically just need to uh, you know, play the game a ton and hope that you can run into as many people as possible. The way that I play I I have a hard time finding like six or seven people in an entire match. I don't play that aggressive. And so there's no way that with the current system that I would be able to get the uh, get to the leaderboards, which is fine. I don't really need to get in the top ten to justify myself at this game. I feel like I'm decent enough. I'm, I'm good enough for what I want, what I need to be. Um, enough to, I'm good enough to have fun at the game and not worry too much about uh, my performance. But I know a lot of people have grinded pretty hard to get to that top 10, so it'll be interesting to see what happens when that goes away, um, when all of a sudden everybody's rank is reset. Um, I mean, obviously they can look back at the season before and see maybe what their rank was, but um, as far as the current leaderboards, it should all be reset and everybody should start back from zero. So I'm probably just going to run into my own death here. Um, I'm starting to wonder if I should just... Yeah, I should probably just loot more and get to 200. So let's try to do that. And I can get a tier 4 weapon. I messed up and I didn't get the mid-tier spawner. That would have been nice if I got the mid-tier spawner. I could have... Uh, <laughs> See, I haven't played this game enough. I know that the know that the health machine doesn't recycle anything. I guess so. All right, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna recycle our only melee weapon. Really, really, really hope for a tier four weapon down here. If not, I'm basically screwed. So. I think with the Tom Fun basically screwed anyway, so let's just hope for the best. Impact grenade. Oh, katana, okay. Alright, so we might be able to do this, so let's go. What? Oh, I don't have any funk. Shit, okay. This could be a problem. 
Can't heal. Guess I should have taken that stick anyway. Just in case. Here's somebody, I think, in the culmination. What do you think? Should we go in there or should we keep looking for people? Let's see. We only got six people alive. I'm thinking small man might be in the culmination. I mean we have a katana and a gun and a bow. We can either deliver this to him and die, or we can fight and win, and then uh, be that much closer to victory, I guess. Oh, there's a guy. Let's try not to get tagged with a bow shot. He's got a katana too, it looks like. Nope, oh, spear. Really missed. Hear somebody. Uh -oh. Yep. Okay. Okay, we need to go. We got the loot. We need to get the hell out of here. Heal up. Hope this guy's not chasing me. <laughs> Hopefully I put the fear of God in him with the uh, revolver. Oh, he's still chasing. Shit. Oh, he hit me too. I'll kill myself with that. Oh no! He's really going for it, isn't he? Yeah, catch me. Alright, we're gonna try and bait him with the, the station here. Why am I crouched? Oh no. I don't have my dig deep. Shit. That's that good. Oh shit. Okay. I got this. That was good. That was good. Okay, we've had some clutch plays here, guys. So we need to heal up. Get some armor going. Hopefully, get this win after all. Okay, grab this. Thank you. Okay. We got lots of ranged weapons going on here, um, and a katana, and if you didn't see, I do have ranger on, so I can, I think I do 10% more damage with my ranged weapons, so that's going to bode well for my, or my, uh, my gun and my compound bow. Oh. That's right on us now. So let's see, who do we got left? Just me and another guy. I can't believe I survived that fight. <laughs> Honestly, that was pretty scary. I mean, a lot of times I let people... I hit people on purpose when I know they're blocking. That way I know that I'm going to get a stagger. I'm going to get staggered, but they're going to come in to try and hit me. And all I need is one more hit. One more hit will do it. And, uh... So all he had to do was hit me one more time, but he, uh, he kind of wasted that opportunity. Wait, what was that? That was a lot? Holy shit. Oh yeah. 
nice. Okay. It's almost like we've played this game before and we know what we're doing. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> oh, man. It's almost as if we remembered how to play. I don't know. Because before I was doing pretty terrible, but that's, uh... I felt pretty good there, so... We might be getting back in our groove just in time for this game to come out. Who knows, but... Yeah, like I said before, um... I want to hear what you guys think about this new patch coming out. See what you guys... Uh, see if you guys even care. See if you think that this is going to be something that's going to help us out. It's going to get more interest in the game. And hopefully get some new players to come along as well. And I just want to thank you guys all again for the support. I just recently hit over 100 subscribers, which is uh, baffling to me. When I first started, I had two, I think. Thanks again for everything. Thanks for subscribing and watching all my content and leaving me some comments. I do appreciate that. Um, when the new patch does come out, I plan on making a few videos. Okay, so I have 24 boxes. I'll probably get one more by the time the patch comes out. Make it an even 25, which is actually an odd number, but either way, 25 to me is a, a good rounded number to have to try out. So I'll make a pretty big uh, cold crate opening video with some kind of cringy, clickbait, catchy title. And then I also want to make a what is the culling video. You know, if any new players decide to try the game out, I want to give them something that's going to explain in 10 minutes or less what the game is, what they can expect. Um, how to play it, and how to win. So I think that would be something that might be successful and might be beneficial for some new players. Uh, but again, thanks guys for watching. If you did enjoy the content, definitely give me a like. And if you want to see more content of The Calling, please hit subscribe. But until next time, I'll see you later. <music>